The most frequent comment I get is, how do I start in electronics? So today I wanted to make a little video talking about how I got started in electronics, the kits I use, the major takeaways I had from those kits, and the challenges that I think exist for someone trying to get into electronics today. Also, I've got a few channel update surprises coming up, so make sure you stay till the end of the video to hear all about those. Now, I want to start off by saying that I'm completely self-taught. Now, technically, I'm an electrical engineering student. I'm currently in my undergrad at Stanford, but everything that I've done on my channel has been completely self-taught stuff. I've been doing electronics for like 10 years now, so way before college. And you don't have to wait for some professor to teach you what it is that you want to know about electronics, especially with this field. It's really easy to just get out there and learn it on your own. So where do you start though? Well, let me take you back to this Snap Circuits kit I used as a kid. This would be the first electronics kit I ever had. I don't really recommend it, personally. It's just very low level and there isn't a lot of room for growth. Like, the most complicated project in this kit isn't that much more difficult and you don't learn that much more from it than even the simplest project in it. They have more advanced versions of this kit nowadays, ones with like 300 projects. But the concept is still pretty much the same. There's these pre-made modules that you don't really understand what they do or how they work, but you're told to connect them together in some order or some way, so that this way it does something. Now, the other thing is you also don't need a lot of projects that's worth considering. You don't need 300 projects. Really, you only need a couple good projects that you can learn a lot from. Now, the next level is probably a kit like this, and in fact, this is the kit that I use right after. I highly recommend something like this. This is the kit that changed it all for me personally. And I've got like five or six different kits in my house. Now before you exit out of this video and try and buy this kit for yourself, you can't. It's actually not available anymore. But don't worry, stick to the end of the video and I'll let you know what you can do. Now why is a kit like this better though in the first place? Well there's three major things, three major takeaways that you want from every single good electronics kit. We can see the first one if we open this up and look right here. It's a breadboard. Now, learning how to use a breadboard is absolutely fundamental, and you can't get into electronics without knowing how to use a breadboard. The reason for this is because any time you build a circuit in your life, the first 100 prototypes you do are going to be on a breadboard. I absolutely guarantee it. The other thing is that this booklet is very good. Now, it's far from perfect. There's a lot of things about it that I would change, but the one thing that it did really well is teach me how to read a schematic, and that is the second fundamental skill you need. If you can read a schematic, you can build any circuit you want. You can build a circuit that does anything because you can go online, communicate with other electrical engineers online, see the circuits that they've made because there's literally hundreds of thousands of different schematics for ridiculously cool projects all online. And you can build any of them as long as you can read the schematic. That's all you really need to know. Now the last really important thing is data sheets. Data sheets are amazing. Nothing is going to have more information than you thought you didn't need to know than a data sheet. Every IC transistor BJT has a data sheet. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically the manufacturer of a component releases this manual that gives all the properties and physical properties of this component basically. Now data sheets should have been mentioned in this kit's booklet, but it never was. The reason I learned about it though was because this kit, unlike so many other kits that you find nowadays, used real components. And that's huge. Because we weren't using Arduinos or Snap circuits with pre-made modules. We were using ICs, capacitors, resistors, components that real professional electrical engineers would use. And in the beginning, yeah, it's super daunting. You don't know what you're doing. You know, if we open this book up and go to the first circuit, we can see the first real circuit I ever made. It's a 555 timer circuit. Now, I didn't know when I first built this circuit how important it was or how ubiquitous it appears in electronics. But look at where we are now. Ten years later, we we're doing our 8-bit CPU, and the first thing we have to do is a clock module, and that's based off a of 555 timer. Then look at our next project, the hexadecimal clock. The first thing we've got to do for that is start off with a 555 timer. This circuit is incredibly important. My first time building it, I didn't even know what I was doing. I had to put it together and take it apart probably 20 times. And I didn't even know what I was doing differently each, 20, each of those 20 times that I tried to put it back together. But eventually, it worked one time. And now we're here. Now, if you want to get into electronics, you're kind of out of luck. They don't make this Radio Shack kit anymore. Radio Shack went out of business a long time ago. And if we look up on Amazon, like beginner electronic kits or basic electronic kits, you can see that there really isn't that much available. We have these sort of snap circuit kits that aren't going to teach you much, and then we have these Arduino kits, which I really don't recommend for beginners. 
The problem with trying to learn basic electronics with an Arduino is that you're transforming every single hardware problem you're trying to solve into a software one. So now you're not going to be learning about schematics or data sheets, ICs or transistors or anything like that with an Arduino kit. Now a lot of these Arduino kits market really great because there's a lot of projects you can do with them. And that's just because Arduino is a microcontroller, just like a computer. And just like a computer, there's a lot of things you can do with them. But you're not going to learn a lot about electronics specifically, necessarily. You might use a breadboard a bit, but you're not going to know enough to be able to keep up with a lot of the YouTube videos you see online, or even some of the videos you see on this channel. Because of this, I was thinking that I might make my own beginner electronics kit for some of my subscribers, just because a lot of my subscribers have been asking me for something like this, and honestly, I think that a kit is one of the best ways to learn beginner electronics. And when I go online and look at the beginner kits that are available now, it's honestly pretty sad. Now, I wouldn't want to make another one of these stupid kits with like 10,000 project hours or whatever that you're not going to learn anything from. What I really want to do is probably create a kit that has like 20 or 25 circuits in it, but really good circuits, like the 555 timers. So this way, you can learn a lot from them, and you can also use those circuits for a long, long time in your electronics career. Anyways, so let me know if you guys think that's a good idea or what you guys think about that at all. Um, as you can tell, we've got a lot of stuff in the pipeline for this channel. we still got the hexadecimal clock project. Uh, coming up. I'm waiting on some stuff in the mail to continue with that. Um, we also officially are on Twitter, so go ahead and follow us at amtech underscore circuits. We're going to be posting a lot of channel updates and things like that there. We're also doing a giveaway pretty soon, and that's going to be orchestrated through Twitter, so make sure you're subscribed and following to make sure you get all the details when that happens. Um, I know this video is probably pretty boring just because it was me talking a lot about nothing, but please like this video if you liked it, and subscribe to see more like this. My name is Kiel Mohadeen, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.